test for the president. He canceled a golf game and sped back to his holiday home after a child of a friend was hurt at the beach. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We'll have more on this in just a moment, but we top our newscast with the developments in the attempted bombing of a U.S. airliner on Christmas Day. Al-Qaeda is now claiming responsibility. Federal authorities have not yet confirmed whether the group is responsible, but President Obama made his first public statement on the attack today. Sally Kidd has more in tonight's top story from our Washington Bureau. The president sought to reassure Americans and says his administration is conducting a review of two critical aspects of the aviation security system. President Obama says the attempted bombing of Northwest Airlines Flight 253 is a reminder of the dangers Americans face. And a full investigation has been launched into this attempted act of terrorism, and we will not rest until we find all who were involved and hold them accountable. Federal authorities are trying to figure out how 23-year-old Umar Abdul Muttalib allegedly managed to get through security with explosives hidden beneath his clothing. The suspect, who was carrying a U.S. visa, had been placed on a terrorism-related watch list after his father warned authorities that his son could be dangerous. The president has ordered a review of the watch list system. We are going to be looking at that process and how uh, those lists are created, maintained, updated, exchanged, and the like, uh, because clearly uh, this individual uh, should not have been able to board this plane carrying that material. The president has also ordered a review of all security procedures and screening technologies, including whether new body scanning technology deployed at some U.S. airports would have alerted security in this case. These body scanners would certainly have given an indication uh, to something that is attached to his leg as was the case, and would certainly led, it would have led to uh, a better re a search that may have discovered uh, the device. The Senate Homeland Security Committee is planning hearings on this incident in January to look at weaknesses in the system. In Washington, Sally Kidd, KITV4, Island Television News.